All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get back to one of those never-ending and never-dying topics in all of our lives. And that is opinions of others, judgment of others. What someone else might say about what you do or how you live your life. A number of my friends and colleagues and a number of amazing professionals who I've met this week have all expressed that either directly and they were very um, acutely self-aware that that is the issue or one of the issues. Others weren't really as uh, forthcoming, but once we sat there and peeled some layers, we got to the bottom of it and it really was, you know, what's my partner, sibling, child, parent, co-worker going to say, or the public in general, right, the internet, what are they going to say if I do X, Y, and Z? My answer to all of them, to each of them individually was at the end of it, why do you care? Yes, it's important to be liked. No one wants to be disliked, right? To be liked and respected, it goes a long way in many different areas of our lives. But at the end of the day, this is your life, and you're living your life, not theirs. And what they have to say about what you do, about your passions, about your drives, about what makes you happy, what makes you excited to get up in the morning, whether it's a new career, something else, trapezing, doing something else nights and weekends until it becomes a career, or may not even be a profession, may be completely a, you know, a passion. There's someone I know who's in the tech field in financial services who has been for years now contemplating taking a few months off to go travel the world and write about it, take photos and videos, and he's an amazing photographer, and, uh, and he's never done it. And we spoke the other day, I ran into him at a conference and uh, he even has the support. He doesn't have family constraints. He does not have small children, you know, so he has to stay close to home. Uh, kids are older. They moved away. They're in college. Um, he has the financial means. His wife supports him, and she wants to do it as well. He even has certain hints of his boss saying, you know what, I can maybe do a month or two and, and kind of save your job for you. But he's still reluctant because someone from the outside, whether they know him or not, might say, hey, look at Joe. By the way, not the real name, right? But look at Joe. He's giving away this top executive leadership position in New York to go somewhere else. So what? It's Joe's life. And Joe should be able to do whatever he wants to do. Or Jane, whatever she wants to do. Insert your name and your passion and what makes you excited. At the end of the day, all of our numbers are going to come up at some point. And when that day comes, what is it that you're left with? A ton of money in the bank? Massive house? Five cars? Or experiences and life that you lived, that you actually took some shots and risks and chances to accomplish the things you wanted all along. And only you know what those are. Most of us are not 100% honest with everyone around us when it comes to what we want to do. Only you know what you want to do in your life. So today is here. Tomorrow and day after are not guaranteed, not promised to any of us. Keep that in mind as you move forward. Now, don't be re re reckless or a loose cannon, but take some risks in life. Say what you mean and mean what you say. Be who you truly are to yourself. Because if it doesn't work out with someone else, that's fine. At least you were true to who you were all along instead of pretending to be someone who you're not. I wish all of you a wonderful day. If this is the first video you see, and this is one of the longer ones for me, and you've stayed this long, please subscribe, leave a comment, and share with your friends and co-workers. And do a little bit of soul searching and see what is it that's been in the back of your mind or somewhere here for months and years. Act on it. It will feel good. And even if you fail, nothing wrong with that. We fail every single day. At least then you know you gave it a good shot. You tried it, and it didn't work out. As opposed to... Wasting another year or seven 
or 15 wondering what if. Have a wonderful day. I wish all of you all the best.